So a few times in my YouTube career, I've made references to a certain video that I had planned for a while, but I was never able to release in full. The video in question is my Rango review. Originally a school project, actually technically it was for a, a writer's club, which is ironic coming from someone who's recording a video right now. This video was basically a school project. It was an optional one, but it never came to fruition, so nothing ever happened in school basically. But recently, I started thinking about it again. I wanted to see those ancient edits that I had, those, ooh, just awesome, crispy edits that I had back then. So here I am today to tell you a bit of a nostalgic tale of a project that could never come through properly. Let's get it. Let's get it started. So, uh... Did you come from the article from school? So along with gaming content, I also want to begin long style movie reviews. And because it's early days, I'm gonna start with animation because it's a lot more simple. Maybe if I was going for simplicity, I shouldn't have started with Rango. Oops. One thing that's super interesting is that this film is decidedly not a kid's film. What? Some themes that are explored in this film are really adult for a movie made by, who, Nickelodeon? Wanna talk about identity crisis? This is the film for you! But other than that, this is just a really good movie that isn't really a kid's film. I feel like it's really cool that this film is not afraid to be different from other animated filmmakers like Disney and Pixar. So why don't we just dive into a different type of video from what I normally do? This is my, um, Batman shirt I'm wearing for when my wife gets home. You see, while I'm working on my reverse aging, things are going rather well. I had a meltdown in the Goodwill the other day. So in this repetitive sequence, a little boy told me, babies are made by kissing a girl with tongue. And my wife, over the holidays, gave me some tongue. So I'm going to spit on this, and then I'll tell him if he's right and I'm pregnant. One of these, and I'm going to spit on it. And if it um, comes back positive, he'll be right. But there's a good chance I'm pregnant for a seven-year-old boy. Well, actually, he's nine now. Somebody asked me to blink real fast if I'm in trouble. <laughs> so, uh, one question. How is Rango this phenomenal? This movie had no reason to be this good. Like, seriously, this movie was made by Nickelodeon. How many movies have you heard that were made by Nickelodeon and didn't be good? <laughs> the animation is stunning. The characters are likable. The story is phenomenal. The soundtrack slaps. How does this all work so well? Well, I've watched this movie since I was young. The coolest thing about this movie is that I'm still finding things I haven't noticed on past viewings. So many things could have gone wrong for this movie. Like, some things with the story which I will get to. But they twisted those bad elements and turned them into the best versions of themselves. So, yeah, let's get into it. Our story follows a sheltered gecko named... Well, he's never actually given a name in the story, other than his stage name being Rango. He's thrown into the heat of the Mojave Desert after a potential car crash. After the commotion, he meets another unnamed character, an armadillo that was run over in the action. He tells... the gecko? I'm just gonna call him Rango. The armadillo tells him about the spirit of the west. Rango, just wanting to get to water, ignores his story and heads to the small town of dirt. During his trip, he hitches a ride with the love interest, Beams. Okay. My eyes! Once he arrives, he learns about the drought that has hit the town. One of my favorite things about the world building is that the water is currency in dirt. Rango unknowingly enters the saloon and finds that the only thing to drink is cactus juice, the equivalent of alcohol. Hey, that reminds me, uh, this is not a kid's movie. <laughs> there's so many guns, there's a ton of drug use and mild swears. If I ever see you again, I will take your soul straight down to hell. I'll game end him myself. Anyway, this is where Rango establishes his character. He fakes his identity to be a legendary sheriff named, you guessed it, Rango. The rest of the story follows him in the town's quest to find the mother load of water. The best thing about this story is that it subverts the typical liar revealed story. The scene that reveals that Rango is not the real Rango is not sad or crushing because if you've seen this movie, you would know that there is the threat of Gaiman if he doesn't get out of the town as soon as possible. Most stories that have the liar revealed plotline usually take one of two roads. Either one, they do the scene and it's just awful, it's terrible, it's why would they even think about doing this? And the second road... 
You know, what? I'm I'm sorry. They, there isn't a second road. Never mind. Cut the recording. Whenever a liar revealed scene is done poorly, it's almost to the point that it's cringy because it's so overdone in film. But you probably don't want me to talk about that story thing anymore. Let's talk about that character interaction and that comedy thing now. <laughs> If you don't want to be bombarded by Nintendo Desert level music anymore, I suggest you click off the video. What other video games can you find that have desert levels? Let's be real. So what's funny about this is that the characters in this movie play off each other better than most Pixar films. Which, considering that this movie was made by Nickelodeon, that's kind of saying something. Also, I'm sorry about bashing Nickelodeon so much in this video, but come on, I'm never not going to be angry that we could have gotten a good surf's up to... The main group of characters is formed after the last of the water is stolen by bandits. Our main group goes on an adventure to find the colony that stole the water, uncovering mysteries to who it could be. Some of the side characters introduced are better than the main characters. There's a rabbit doctor that's missing an ear. Alright, which one of you fellas need to check up? A chicken with its eye shot out with an arrow. And there's even a guy that plays the spoons. Nonetheless, these characters offer really fun interactions and good moments sometimes. There's almost not a bad character in the bunch. One of my favorite things about these characters is the villains. You so Let's see, there's the mayor of the town, who he's basically like the head honcho. He controls all the water in the town. Basically, he, he's just a mob boss. There's Rattlesnake Jake, which is basically just his right-hand man, and my personal favorite character in the movie. And then there are the mayor's cronies, which they're just kind of there. But let's talk about funny thing. Comedy in Rango takes a darker tone compared to other animated movies, just like the entire movie in general. It reminds me a lot of Shrek on how they take real life concepts and transform them into whatever the movie is about. In this case, it's a twist on poverty in society. Instead of money, it's water. One plot development is about Beans' ranch being in the way of the mayor's plot to convert the town into a metropolitan paradise where he can be in power. And then they're talking about loans and territory and... Uh, I, I don't know, I'm, I'm still only a freshman in high school. That isn't really comedy, but that premise leads to it. For example, there's a scene at the bank where a mother and her son withdraw some water. The son reaches for it, and the mother goes, Hands off, Mordecai! That's what's left of your college education! I don't have footage of this, I, I need to say it out loud. That's the only example I can really think of right now, but other than that setup, there isn't a ton else that is truly unique. There's some dumb jokes here and there, but nothing laugh out loud funny. Just some dumb, stupid chuckles. I supplied you with Cuphead music during this portion because, uh, if you know Cuphead, the animation in that game is great. Oh yeah, Rango too. The animation is probably the most interesting thing to talk about in this movie. My favorite thing about it is that it isn't afraid to make its characters look gross or make you, the viewer, feel uncomfortable. The environments look rugged, worn out, like they've been there for years and years. The water conflict also ties in here. Everything is dry. Because A, it's in a desert, and B, because there is no water. Because they're in a desert. Something else that's cool about the animation is that they took an evolutionary take on motion capture, or as you may know it as mocap. Actors did their parts in real life, and the animators took those shots and animated around them, saving time in large shots like the canyon chase. Rango is a great movie, but I must be fair and go over a few issues that I do have with it. I love the way they handled the liar revealed plotline, but I don't like how when Rango does come back, literally everyone in the town forgets about how he lied. I get that the town is in trouble because of the mayor and Jake, but to just forget that the person who literally lied to the entire town about being their savior, that's kinda crazy. Like I said earlier, I don't really think the movie is that funny. Not that the jokes they make don't land, but it's just a lack of jokes that make it not as funny as it could be. The next thing isn't the movie's fault, but it's- SOCIETY! People often dislike this movie because of the animation, and more specifically the character animation. They say it's too disturbing for them, so they drop the film and never give it a chance. I implore the movie for going with this unique and unconventional animation style. To be honest, I think these are the only problems with this movie though. Overall, this is the definition of an underrated film. I wish more people would start talking about it. I give it a 9 out of 10. Bye bye! Whoa, I'm back? Well, I guess since I'm reborn, I can keep telling you about Rango. Of course that's what I'm gonna do with my second chance at life. 
nope, that's it. That's the end right there. There's no more after this. Um, I could not find the rest of that recording. It is all gone. I'm not joking. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. Honestly, it made me really happy to just watch this entire video back. This is probably one of my most nostalgic videos, like, to date, other than, of course, my first two videos, which I actually just republished, so, uh, you guys can go watch that right now if you want to go, um, cringe. Honestly, if this tells you guys anything about, like, video editing and just long projects, um, just try and find something to stay committed to. I just tried to tackle such a big project when I didn't really have the skill set necessary for that, so I got really burnt out really quickly and I wasn't able to finish it. So if you guys just stay properly motivated, then you guys can get through anything. Is Loki barking? I don't know if you guys can hear that in the recording. Just stay inspired, and I'll see you guys later. Also, sorry this is a fodder upload. <laughs> <laughs>